One way to think about this tricky problem is by using a concrete example. So here we have some HTML that specifies the word Udacity with a hyperlink to our website. As you know, we can use page.find to find the beginning of the hyperlink. If you look closely what we have here, what we want is the URL. And it's nicely bounded by quotes. So my hint is going to be find the quotes. I'll get you started by showing you the location of the starting quote. Now here, it's important to remember we want to start from where the start link was. Otherwise, we would get quotes unrelated to the hyperlink itself. As you can see, one of the key aspects here is introducing a new variable. This is really hard to do if you don't start using variables. And programming in general would be if you don't really rely on using new variables to help you solve harder and more complex problems. So once you have the start and end quotes, you need to use the subsequence operator, the colon, to get what's in between the quotes. To help solve this, what I recommend doing is using a concrete example like I have here and printing out your results and your variables to help you know where you go wrong and how close you are to getting the correct solution. This is going to be a useful programming technique as we get later in the class.